Defence Minister Manohar Parikar says credit for surgical strike must be shared with every citizen of the country. And Moharam being observed across the state today. Thank you, Rukma. Hi, and welcome to Metro Scan from Mumbai. I'm Shama Mishra. Let's see the news in detail. Amid politics over surgical strikes, Defence Minister Manohar Parikar today said that doubting Thomases can share credit for the operation, though a major share goes to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the government for decision making and planning. He said that the credit should be shared by all citizens of the country. The minister said it will settle the nerves of many in an apparent dig at the opposition parties which have been accusing the Modi government and the BJP of taking credit for the army action for political gains. The minister said he understands the sentiments of people who are satisfied after the surgical strike. I will only share the credit at the most. The major share goes to Prime Minister. But uh, the issue I will at least claim the credit is decision-making ability and planning. So I think that should uh, settle the nerves of many people. I understand the people's sentiment are satisfied. And when population is satisfied, Parikar said he expects another 50 to 60,000 crore worth of defence contracts to be signed during the remaining quarters of the financial year, taking the total orders to Rs 3 trillion since, the to since he took charge two years ago. He was speaking at international exhibitions and conferences on materials, engineering, technology and heat treatment, MET, HTS 2016. So, the export from there, पिछले दो सालों में करीबन एक बिलियन डॉलर का एक्सपोर्ट हुआ है उसमें मोस्टली आइटम था डिफेंस आइटम सो करीबन तीन हजार करोड़ का रहेगा हमारा टारगेट है हम ये आठ दस हजार करोड़ करोड़ अगले दो बरस में और वो सक्सेसफुल हो रहा है ऐसा लगता है in another event, Defence Minister Manohar Parikar today emphasized on the need to strengthen the country to a level where no one can challenge India for conventional and non-conventional war. He was speaking in Mumbai at an event named, uh, for themed strengthening India's defence capabilities. He highlighted the decisiveness of the government under Prime Minister Narendra Modi on economic, politic, security and international relations. He said that the government's first priority is to design defence equipment in India, developing capabilities to deal with cyber warfare and indemnization under defence procurement. He said that the recently conducted surgical strikes has changed mindset of opponents due to unpredictability of such actions. Asserting that such surgical strikes were not conducted in the past, he said that people of the country were happy with the strikes conducted by the army. Muharram is being observed today across the state. On this day, martyrdom of Imam Hussein, the grandson of Holy Prophet Muhammad and 71 family members and his associates were remembered. Muharram is considered as the day of mourning and processions to commemorate the tragic event of Karbala on Muharram were carried out across the state. Minister of State for Home, uh, Home Affairs Hans Raj Ahir visited Dargah located inside the central jail of Chandrapur district and paid reverence. The gates of the jail will remain open for two days so that the people can visit the Dargah inside the prison to offer prayers. Large Tazia processions were carried out at Aurangabad where people in large numbers thronged the city streets to mark the occasion. Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Farnavis has assured the Dalit community that the Atrocities Act will not be abolished despite a strong demand from a section of the Maratha community to repeal it as it is allegedly being misused. Farnavis was addressing a gathering at Diksha Bhumi in Nagpur yesterday on the 60th Dhamma Chakra Pravartan Din, which marks the mass conversion to Buddhism by Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar and his followers in 1956.
Shivsena Executive President Uddhav Thakre congratulated Prime Minister Narendra Modi for ordering the surgical strikes in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir following the Uri terror attack. Thakre was speaking at Shiv Sena's 50th Vijay Dashmi rally at Shivaji Park in Mumbai yesterday. He appealed Prime Minister Narendra Modi not to discontinue the strict and non-cooperative stand against Pakistan. Thakre also reiterated party's objection to Pakistani artists and players and actors coming to India. On Maratha reservation, he demanded that reservation should be on the basis of economic status of an individual and not religion-based. That's it then in this edition of Metro Scan from Mumbai. We'll be back tomorrow evening with more updates from the commercial capital. It's over to Delhi Studios. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.